The first step is to connect the AV9000 and sensor to the AS950. Next we'll set up our measurement data logging preferences. So from the main menu you'll select programming, then go to data log programming and select it. And now we will choose channel logging and now highlight the AV9000 and press select. Then we'll select what channels we want to measure. In this case, we'll select Level, Velocity, and Flow. When we're done, click Save. Now we'll want to set up the measurement frequency or logging interval. So choose Back, now select Logging Interval, and then select the sensor that you want to set up the logging interval for. And now we'll set up our logging interval. When you're happy with that, select OK. Now we'll select back a couple times and this will offer us the opportunity to change other parameters on other sensors if we have them connected up. And then we'll get this warning message acknowledging the uh, loss of data if we continue and that's okay. The next step is to go into hardware setup and configure our sensor to calculate flow and calibrate the sensor. So we go to hardware setup, configure sensors, and select the AV9000. I recommend using the setup wizard to calibrate and set up the sensor so we're going to select setup wizard and now walk through the process. The first question pertains to sensor direction. Choose normal or reversed based upon which direction the sensor will face in the flow. Next we will select the flow calculation method and with an AV9000 you're most likely to be choosing area velocity. Now we'll enter the geometry and dimensions. Now it's time to calibrate the sensor. We have two choices to calibrate the sensor in air or in the flow. I've chosen air in this example. Simply follow the on-screen instructions and wait for the calibration to complete. Note this will take anywhere from 30 to 45 seconds to complete. A successful calibration will be indicated by the green checkbox in the top line on the display. Select Finish. Then you have a chance to verify the calibration. I've selected No here. That wraps up our setup wizard. Now we'll navigate back to the programming section to now configure our sampler program. Select sampler programming. Now we'll select the number of bottles, the bottle volume, the tubing length and diameter, and here is the pacing. So we're doing flow proportional, so we want to choose a flow weighted sample. We choose flow weighted and press select. Now we'll need to choose our flow source. In this case we've set up the AV9000, so we'll select here and choose flow 1. Now we'll need to select our target volume. In other words, how many gallons will pass before we collect a sample. So scroll down to target and enter the number of gallons we want to use as our target volume. In this case I will use 5,000 gallons. Again what this means is that every 5,000 gallons that is measured by the AV9000 and submerged pressure velocity sensor, a sample will be collected. Now that we have that entered, 
we will select back and continue the sampler programming process. Next up is sample volume and it's at 200 milliliters and I'll leave that at 200 milliliters. Now we have program start. It's currently at immediately on run and that's what I'd prefer so we'll leave that there as well. And finally program end and in this case it says none and that's that will have it, the program run continuously. Um, so this would, the assumption there would be that the bottles would be changed out in between. That's all the programming there is and now we can just review all the items and the last step would be to select the run key and select run from the menu and now the sampler will begin its program.